Hey everybody, this is Ramon El Magnifico coming to you from Seattle, Washington and this is a new episode of the Famous Pipe Smoker Friday show and on today's episode we want to celebrate a birthday, that's right. We want to celebrate <clears throat> the 92nd birthday of the great Mr. Harry Berafonte. Woo, happy birthday sir, sir. woohoo! An actor, humanitarian and the acknowledged King of Calypso. Harry Belafonte uh, ranked amongst the most seminal performers of the post-war era. One of the most successful African-American pop stars in history. In history, <clears throat> Harry Belafonte's staggering talent, good looks, and masterful assimilation of folk, jazz, and world beat, beat uh, rhythms allowed him to achieve a level of mainstream eminence and crossover popularity, popularity virtually unparalleled in the way before the advent of the civil rights movement, a cultural uprising which he himself helped spearhead. <coughs> Harold George Belafonte Jr was born March 1st, 1997. I'm sorry, 1927. <laughs> uh, let me say that again. So today, 92 years ago, on March 1st, 1927, he was born in Harlem, New York, the son of uh, Caribbean-born immigrants. He returned with his mother to, to her native Jamaica at the age of of eight remaining there for the next five years then upon returning to the to the United States Belafonte dropped out of high school to enlist in the US Navy and after his discharge <clears throat> he resettled in New York City to forge a career as an actor performing with the American Negro Theater while studying drama at Erwin Pis Piscator's famed dramatic workshop alongside the likes of a young Marlon Brando and Tony Curtis. A singing role resulted, resulted in a series of cabaret engagements and eventually Belafonte even opened his own club. Initially, he put his clear, his clear, silky voice to work as a stray pop singer, launching his recording career on the J Jubilee label in 1949. <clears throat> However, at the dawn of the 1950s, he discovered folk music as well as West Indian music, and with guitarist. Millard Thomas Belafonte soon made his debut at the legendary jazz club, The Village Vanguard. In 1953, he made his film Bow <laughs> in Bright Road. <clears throat> and in 54, he won a Tony Award for Best Supporting Feature Actor for John Murray, Murray Anderson's Almanac, becoming the first black perf performer to receive a Tony Award. Wow. <clears throat> With his lead role in the film adaptation of Oscar Hammerstein's Carmen Jones, Bella Foman shot to stardom. And after signing to the RCA label, hey, just like Elvis, his album titled, hey, that's cool, RCA had the King of Calypso and the King of Rock. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so after signing to RCA, his album titled simply Belafonte reached number one, kickstarting a national craze for Calypso music. Calypso, the title of an LP, also featured in 1956. Oh, wow. So... Uh, Elvis and, and Belafonte were at RCA at the same time. Uh, so Calypso topped the, the charts for a staggering 31 weeks on, this, 
on the strength of hits like Jamaica Farewell and the immortal banana Deo. Sorry. That's the banana boat. Deo. <laughs> Following the success of 1957's An Evening with Belafonte and its hit Mary's Boy Child, Belafonte, Belafonte returned to film using his now considerable clout to, to realize the controversial film Island in the Sun, in which his character contemplates an affair with a white woman, portrayed by John Fontaine, <clears throat> beautiful woman. In 1959, he was the first African-American man to receive an Emmy Award with his first solo TV special, Tonight with Belafonte. Wow, so he was the first to win a, a, a Tony uh, Award and the first to win an Emmy. Wow, good for him. In addition to his continue, continued work in recording um, and in film, Belafonte spent an increasing amount of the 70s and 80s as a tireless humanitarian, most famously, he was a central figure of the USA for Africa effort, singing on the 1985 single, We Are the World. Remember that? Um, he also helped write it. Now, in my personal opinion, Harry Belafonte had a popularity resurgence when his music was heavily featured in the soundtrack for Tim Burton's Beetlejuice. Uh, he returned to, f to more films in the mid 90s with roles in White Man's Burden, a movie that, in which he co-starred with John Travolta, I did not know that, and Kansas City. Although at this point, Belafonte had stopped recording new music he kept his name in the news by releasing the occasional live album, uh, as well as being an outspoken proponent of Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez and a star opponent of the Bush government. Among his many awards and accolades, he received six gold records. He was a Kennedy Center Honors Honoree, sorry, a Kennedy Center, Center honoree, and he was awarded the National Medal of Arts. And he won a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award in the year 2000. <clears throat> now, through the 2000s to now, Mr. Belafonte continues his political and social work, as well as his film career, most notably in 2006, Bobby. And more recently, actually just this past year, um, he was, he had a part in the Academy Award nominated Black Klansman. Now his music continues to be relevant as well uh, because it continues to appear on soundtracks, in, on soundtracks, soundtracks for Dancing with the Stars and Limbs Lip sync battle as well as tv series like atlanta and the marvelous mrs Maisel for amazon uh and of course movies like paddington too so there you go that's what i have to say about the great harry belafonte uh happy birthday sir uh here's to another great pipe smoker uh, my sources for the information today come from IMDb and allmusic.com. Um, so I took a compilation and put a bunch of all, all of this stuff together. So there you go. That's today's episode of uh, the Famous Pipe Smoker Friday show with Mr. Harry Belafonte. Um, so let me know what you think. Uh, if, you, if you like this series, uh, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Um, uh, check out the post on Instagram when I'll be, uh, you know, promoting this show. Um, follow me.
me on Twitter and Instagram. If you like this, go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos. Check out my movie reviews. Until I see you again, this is El Magnifico saying may God bless you all. So long and thanks for all the fish. Ciao.